So we have Yeva over here. And uh, we have Zevlor over there. And likely the, you know, the whole betrayal of Zevlor was because he got infected and was just, yeah. Uh, we got Will over here. That, that's ours. Uh, we have, uh, oh, Shurga over here. But we should, wait, Manip Shurga? Who are you? Oh, you're one of the, yeah, you're not Duke Ravenguard. All right. I can, I can handle that. What I'm concerned about is, of course, their health and uh, the Mind Flayers. So, let's start off with killing this guy, if we can, Survival is all that matters. which we likely can. Let me see if I can get myself obscured or slightly obscured. Right now, I'm not getting any bonus whatsoever for, uh, for my critical chance. As you can see, basically, look at this. It looks like this complete shadow over there, but it isn't. Why? How? It's weird, isn't it? Look at that. That's... I don't know. That is... Yeah. So, we're not going to be able to get ourselves into complete shadow. Unless... No, I don't think it's possible. That's fine. We roll with the dice. We... Dread Ambusher you. 72% can say it's great. Let's see what they are like. They don't have resistances. They have charm. Uh, I should be able to resist them. No problem. Uh, so perhaps I should start here and get Will to transform that guy over there. We'll see. We'll see. Let's let's do this. Uh, uh, the luck... Luck of... This is once per rest, so let's not crit. And besides, I want to auto crit. Oh, they're auto. Yeah, that's that's nasty. They um, they're doing the tactical charm that I do. That is quite nasty. I also don't have hunter's mark, so let's do it. And let's do do two shots here. No crit. And ninety five percent, seventy percent. Yeah, I'm not gonna rely on the on the um, the extra hits that is that Gale on the other hand we could do we could do polymorph getting that guy out of the way that would be good or we could do haste which would be even better <laughs> Uh, this guy, yeah, just engage with with Will there, oh, with uh, Gale there. Still on my feet. Although that is an that is a a, no, um, a concentration check that is going to happen. Just hit. Yeah, didn't go very well. Light on my feet. But we can always reload. Oh, thank you, and frightened. That's very nice. Thank you. Eliminate. Okay, so we have uh, Mind Flayer Domination, an Intelligence check on Jahira. Jahira will not... Yeah, I think I'll go with a Counter Spell. And uh, we'll do Psychic Backlash, because why not? Maybe Gale will be able to do another Counter Spell if we get... Uh, uh, no. Psychic Backlash. Are they immune to Psychic or something? Or did that just miss? Huh. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, so, let's use our abilities. Fungal Infestation needs a target. Target must be a beast. Wait, really? Raise a mildewed... Wait. Must be a beast? No, it mustn't. Are these beasts? They're abomination. They're aberrations. Yeah, these are mind flayers. Yeah. Anyway, I I wasn't I wasn't gonna do that. Uh, although that is a reaction. I was going to do Halo of Spores. So symbiotic entity will transform her into. Into not much. She basically gets a a fungal infestation. That's symbiotic. That's that's the name. Um. 75. And now this does a little bit of damage. I think. 
Yeah, it should. So, let's just do it. And that's the damage extra? Mm, it doesn't count into the normal. It doesn't actually change the, this thing over here. Yeah, no, that's fine. That's all good. We haven't taken any hits yet. We could do Flame Blade, which likely wouldn't be a bad idea, especially if she gets closer. Although, I need to make sure this isn't a concentration. It is not. This isn't either, but... There it is. Oh. Crap. She gets rid of her... Flame Blade gets rid of her shield? It shouldn't. I suppose that is better. Because it's the offhand. It always does the same amount of damage. You don't. Well, you do add... It isn't better. You need to switch those around. I'm not... I don't like that. What? How did... Why? Conjure a flaming scimitar in your hand that deals... The blade can be equipped and equipped. No, I don't like that. What consequences will we suffer? Okay, that's... Uh, that's my backlash and let's get a counter spell in there. And that one did damage. So counter spell is really important, but it's not going to last forever. That's a levitate, which I believe is just a bonus action. Tentacle whip. That is all right. Arcane synergy. My mind is my she, lo she loses it. And Zevlor is very happy about this. Zevlor is level 9. Yeah. And now we have Will doing his thing, and I will just attack you, I think. There's no real reason to do anything else. We could cast other spells. We saved versus Tadpole. We could cast spells, but... I think, I think it's better off actually attacking. And we also need to do a short rest, because... Will needs to go to get his charges back. I am hoping that the Intellect Devourer doesn't actually start devouring our Intellect, because then we're going to need to cast Restoration. We do have some Scrolls of Restoration. Alright, so Giladel's in, and if I could kill you, that would be good. You also have Mental Fatigue, which uh, makes your saving throws lower. That's really powerful against certain things. Oh, yeah, but we have we have disadvantage. I do also have. Um... Yeah, let's let's find out. Let's let's do this shot. That's a miss. No, that's a kill. I forgot the dual wielding. Can I move? Yes, yes, I can. And uh, I have haste, so 85 now within my line of sight. That's my bonus attack, and this is my extra or my new attack from haste. And the 65, I shouldn't have done that, but we did it nonetheless. And I'll just hang out here in the middle. And uh, I will do fire, but I will do fire on you. And that's that's quite a quite far away. And I miss. Not a problem. That, that was also a save versus tadpole. And the intellectual power was bleeding, but died. Yeah, fortunately, they're, they're helping out. Let me do the... Hey, wait, you can't? You should be able to jump. Is your jump a bonus action? Yeah. So you can jump. Hmm. No, that's normal. A jump. What was that over there? Level 2? Why is it marked as level 2? Can't I? Hmm. Uh, either way, now she can attack with not her offhand weapon, which is all sorts of... Yeah. I do this. Don't poison them. Does this not do poison? Oh, it's necrotic damage. Right, right, right. I need to do things like this. And they save against the poison. It's a constitution save. That's normal. Let's see what he does. That's a stun on Will. Not a big... No, it's also a stun on Jahira. That's three critical hits. Zevlor is quite quite a boss. That was three critical hits on a mind on the on the little this devourer. Okay. They're not very smart. They are going for Jahira because she does have uh, the she does have the um what's the word? They, they have advantage against her. Oh man, I need to I need to get rid of the freaking 
freaking dual wield that, or I need to pay attention to that for one. All right. Not enough for a kill. This is enough for a kill, though. And now you die. Hope your soul is in good hands. Hells. I didn't think I was going to make it. I owe you an explanation. Much more than that. But first, please, the others, the ambush. Tell me they survived. Yeah, they found refuge, but what the hell's happened out there, Zevlor? You've heard some of it, I'm sure. That I froze, or broke, or some other lie that is kinder than the truth. We were ambushed by cultists, yes. And then I heard... Her. Their false god. I would be a paladin again. With a god's purpose, a god's power. And all the while, the cult tortured them. They fought and ran and died around me while I imagined myself their savior. By the time I regained my senses, it was too late. I did not just surrender to the Absolute. For a moment, I welcomed it. He got a tadpole. He has a tadpole in his head. He must. That's why he's in those pods, to turn into a Mind Flayer. And also, I think perhaps more importantly, that's how he heard Right? That's how he heard the god talking in her he in his head. It sounds like you were being enthralled. It's it, I don't think it's your fault. It would be nice to think so, but whatever these monsters twist us into, I believe it begins in I won't make excuses. I can't make amends, but I know something of what you came to do. I want to help. If Ketherick is below, he thinks you're no longer a menace descend and show him how wrong he is. If there are any more survivors to be found, I'll find them and lead them out of this place. Honestly, you were pretty awesome out there. <laughs> I could use another blade in the fight to come. Only if you can trust it won't be buried in your back. The Absolute swayed me once before. I won't risk it happening. Go, my friend. Please, let me do this much. Can he actually do that? Because I don't trust him. His dialogue is, is, is busted. He keeps um, skipping his lines, basically. Uh, is it the earth beneath the crunches or the bones within? You're not that old, Jahira. You're like 30. <laughs> she's not. She at least she comes across as she's she's like 60. But she's a lot older because she's a half-elf. She does... I, hmm. I don't actually know how long the... Uh, the, or what is the life expectancy of a half elf? But I would say she probably like is 200 maybe, 150. I don't know. Giladel, on the other hand, is way older than she is, 900 somewhere around there. Canonically, canonically, like uh, our character is canonically that. I'm also incapacitated. How did that happen? I didn't eat anything. Is there any surface there? I don't know. Alright, they didn't have much. What about you, Manip? Hmm. Huh. Oh, stench. I'm beginning to think I should have stayed in that pod. In there it only smelled like... Is there any news about Duke Ravenguard? Did he get out alive? No. Tell by your expression. Enough to fall on us. On my sword, she says. On the other hand, maybe I'll just live for revenge. Yeah, by Grumsh. That sounds like a plan. See, much better than falling on your sword. Oh, Zavlar is still going around. Hells, I didn't think I was going to make it. Thank you. Finish what you came here to do. I dare say you've done enough for me. Yep. Let's see where we are headed because... Wait. That is where Ketherick Thorm is. But why is this here? Are we still looking for Duke Ravenguard? Or rather, the Grand Duke. With a J. 
This looks bad. Brine pools, but empty of tadpoles. Unusual. Harvesting all the larvae indicates they are getting ready for something big. No tadpoles in this brine pool. Yes. Psst, check it out, Jahira. You're better than me. There's a parasite nearby. You should take a closer look. It is lies because it's not nearby. You got one. And that concludes my brain. Goodbye. I don't even know what that does. It's the stage fright. There you go. All of my abilities. All of them that I won't use very often. And the suspended ceramosphosis. Cambion. Truly. The absolute guess it's nets wide. A cambion? You, you saw a cambion? Wait, is it in here? I, I, it's a good call. Well, hi, Will. I didn't mean to. Um, yeah, uh, I think it is in here somewhere. I, uh, either way, I, I want to also see the suspended ceramosphosis here because that's what we're going through. It's going to explain why we don't turn into mind flayers. This is dictated by Ember Gortarsh. Ceramos Ceramorphosis, illithid larval transformation of a host humanoid into a mind flayer. Typically occurs in less than a 10 day after infection, but the tadpoles, quote, laid, unquote, by our captive elder brain are enhanced due to the powerful Netherese magic of the crown of Carsus. Our enhanced tadpoles induce in their hosts a sort of, quote, suspended, unquote, ceramorph ceramorphosis, I can say that word sometimes, a state in which the host becomes susceptible to telepathic influence and even co coercion from the absolute, our elder brain. For our purposes, there are two key aspects to this influence. First, the conversion of the host into a mental lackey of the absolute occurs entirely without the host's awareness. Its servility feels Com comfortable and natural and is never consciously questioned. Second, the servile state persists even when a host is far beyond the usual range of an elder brain's psionic control. This phenomenon is spe spectacularly useful given our ambitions. That word is tricky because it could be specularly or spe spe speculatively or you need to actually take it, care and read it. Uh, but either way, that is a tricky word and... I think, importantly, it hints that the guardian inside of the prism is Githyanki, because then the Githyanki would know, would have an idea of how to stop magic like this. Magic like whatever is enhanced the tadpoles from, um, from this elder brain. It feels like that would be the case, right? Mazora. You're Zariel's asset. My dumb little stinker. Took you long enough. Now, by Grazit's cock, get me out of this thing. I'll do it, and you'll set me free. That was the deal. Yeah, yeah. So, get to it already. The controls are open to your tadpole's command. To your authority. Wait a minute, why did she get captured though? What is going on for her to have been captured by the the by Ketheric? Um I don't actually know why oh I can examine the devices. Let's uh, examine the device on the left. The symbol's meaning comes into focus. Annihilate. Oh what about the one on the right? You decipher the symbol. It's an illithid sigil, meaning unleash. Well, I suppose I, I think I can understand which one is the one that I want. Should I kill her? I should kill her. Right? Hells. What are you? No! Will? Will! Shit! Please! No! Please! Oh, shit. Forgot about that. Oh, he left my stuff behind. 
Uh, I forgot about that. So let's let's not do that. Let's unleash her. You did all right, Will. I'd give your belly a good rub, but never could stand the smell. You're free, Mazora. I held up my end. Now you hold up yours. Sever the pact. <clears throat> <clears throat> Clause Z, Section 13. If the Soulbinder consents to separation, she will release the Soulbearer from all obligation within six months. Six months? Gods damn you! Ignorant thing. It's always the terms and conditions that get you. You, you. you think we'd get a reward for going through all this? Hell yeah. Another one? Well, after jumping through all those hoops, a little treat wouldn't hurt. And to think, you want to throw it away. Now, you've got business in the towers to take care of. Don't you fret. I'll find you soon enough. You're going to need me. Count on it. Oh, and go ahead. Tell your chums how we met. It's a real cracker of a tale. Ta-ta. Yeah, I've been hoping that he tells me about it. He never says anything. Oh, he didn't get turned. I don't think he got turned into a human. He got an infernal rapier. And the power that she's referring to is the fact that he's a warlord, a uh, warlock. I think. Right? Yeah. Zariel's asset was none other than Mazora herself. Of course. Tricks on top of tricks on top of tricks. But I've only got six months before I made a free man. Thanks be to the triad. No... Scratch that. Thanks be to you. Thanks. That's nice of you to say. Mizora said you could talk ab about your pact in, ex in exile, though. It's time I know the whole truth. First, we kill Ketherick Thorn. Then, I'll tell you everything you want to know. What else is on your mind? Not much. Not much. I am a very empty-minded kind of person. This rapier is a 1d8 plus 1d4. You're gonna plus one bonus to spell save DC. That is really good for him. That is fantastic for him. He's very versatile. Instead of its dexterity modifier, the affected entity adds spell casting modifier. Oh no. This is for Jahira. And she also has planar ally, a cambion. Which is what um it is what, um, uh, uh, what's her name? It's what she is, right? Oh, she's not proficient in this. Right. So, it is for him. But I don't have him set up for this. I, I don't even have the equipment. I can't change. I mean, I could give him a shield, but it is for him. I will give him a shield later, and he'll be, he'll be very happy for that, eventually. Light on my feet. Because, he, you know, he doesn't have... Uh, if we look at his character sheet, his uh, fighting ability is pretty mediocre, so he needs to use his charisma. There's brine barrels here. They will explode, I believe, if you shoot them. Anyway, let's look at the map. See where we are. We're just, keep, we're just going. Still looking for the Grand Duke. Skellington. And a candle and a save as well. Just in case... No enemies. 
Okay. There are some enemies. This is looking very reminiscent of uh, Baldur's Gate 2, honestly. This bit over here. When you go to... Yeah. When you... Let's check these things out. Oh. Let's take a right turn. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, when you go to the Illithid place, it is kind of something like this. There's Harry Henry's journal. Severed pelvis. Oh, yeah. Th this people... This person got obliterated. There's a chest here that I will open with a little bit of money and a silver the chalice. Comes. A rib cage Absolutely. right there. No. And this says these slick innards, these fluid chambers, how long have we been here making thralls? I don't want to any longer. Merkel is drowned out in my head by my own spiral fears. The Bone Lord doesn't want a coward. None of this looks real. I am in a kraken belly. I am turned inside upside. I am dead. Merkel's gray waist always sounded peaceful, but like not like this. Hmm. There's another one of these things. The that connects to where we were already. Ministress of Souls' research log. A chest. With a little bit of money. Yeah, I, I will take... I'll always take the treasure. It is mine by rights. And uh, Cress's notes as well. Surgery kit. And a vicious... A viscous chair, in fact. Mm-hmm. Let's see the research log first. Again, I have noted a fluid leakage from the oral cavity and have ascertained the cause. Due to the unusual method of parasitic insertion, the secretions of the creature within are leaking out rather than being absorbed by the brain. As we have noted in other thralls, I cannot say why the parasite is evacuating this oil, but it has the scent of garlic we now know indicates it has fed on the host's brain manner itself. I have collected a sample of ear fluid. Vivisection day today showed no sign of pain as I was unraveling the long intestine, but instead grabbed the organ as if it were a rope, reached to wrap it around my neck as if to strangle me. But all the strength in its poor arms is quite gone. Had to th thread the guts back into the body. We'll try again another day. Curiously, there's a second page, but it's blank. And uh, the notes here. I have seen a thousand ears. Not years, ears. Some have the reflexes to twitch when they know the worm is about to borrow. The worm takes longer to get through if the entry hole isn't cleaned. I have taken to torching them with an ear candle. An ear candle? Hmm. It all makes for dull work. I am tired of ears. I am tired of my only order being, quote, create thralls, unquote. Apparently all we need to know about the brain is being handled by the chosen. I am forbidden from studying these dull thralls. I need a new one, one that Balthazar doesn't know of. A creature of exceptional will, like my old dear pet, can keep fragments of its own mind while affected by the parasite. We know. We need to know why. Hmm. I wonder if this is Minthara. Cressus notes. She didn't really say why she was here. And that is quite suspicious. But also jumping to conclusions there about it being Minthara. I suppose. I don't know. I have no idea. I've got a chest over here and a journal of Matthew. There's there's somebody. Mag Magthew booted. Booty. Booty. Potentially. I remember our life as country surgeons back in Nashkel. We only ever wanted to be the best, to learn how to staunch any mortal wound. How did we get here? Cressa hasn't been herself since her pet True Soul was shipped out. General Thorn was attacked. The order to evacuate given. You should not be here. I conclude you are one of the attackers. Poor Gale, he didn't even do nothing. You should be careful. Throwing such accusations at a true soul? Trying to pull rank. And yet not a word of concern for our dear general. 
I shall present your bones to General Thorm as retribution for what you did to him. I'm in combat. Why? Did Gale get stuck elsewhere? No, no. At least, at least that much we're good. 